Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back and today we're going to be comparing the WWE Commemorative Spinning Championship Belt with the WWE Spinning Adult Version 1 title. Alright, as you can see, they both look like they're about the same size. Yeah, uh, this one, the version 1 replica title I have, is a more custom title. I do have a gold tip here, and also it has been re-leathered. So as, as you can see, it's very floppy and uh, looks like a real belt. Yeah. And this one, the commemorative title. This is, uh, these are plastic plates here. And as you can see, the strap is simulated leather. It, it's pretty much like flat like a board, as you can see. Um, it does look very nice, though. It ha does look like it would be a nice belt to showcase. Yeah. And as you can see, this belt is very light as well. Um, it probably weighs a fraction of the version 1 title, which is about 10 pounds. And this one I would say is more like 3 pounds. Alright, let's give it a spin. That's the commemorative title. It does have a magnet, so... Yeah, the magnet just keeps it right in place there. Uh, this title here... I believe it's like a version 2 commemorative belt because it doesn't make that huge clicking sound that it usually made the first time around. I mean, it makes a little sound, but it's not a huge clicking sound. And of course, the replica 1 belt uh, it will just spin and just keep spinning. It doesn't have a magnet. Uh, I did happen to change the the belt here the nameplate I was able to do that the nameplate they provide you with is plastic but I do have a a metal nameplate here a custom nameplate uh, this belt I'm going to present to my dad for retiring from the post office so yeah I'm gonna also do a video for that I have his name here, his nickname there, Special Ed. Alright. So let's take a look at the back here. I would have gave my dad this belt here, the version 1, but he complained about how heavy it was. It's a 10 pound belt, it is heavy. So this is a very nice alternative commemorative belt but anyway look at the backing here the version one this is re-leathered of course it's covering all the screws here very nice feel okay and the only other difference notable difference would be the color the color is a little more gold on the commemorative uh, these are plastic plates and so it's a little more dull, but you can, it's still a nice gold color. These are the metal plates. And this real leather here, it's not quite as black, the strap, as the simulated leather that they provide you with, with the commemorative title. But it's very nice as well. Alright, and the price difference, this one's going to run you below, a little bit below 200 this one's going to be about 400 and if you want to do the re-leathering it's going to be at least 200 just for the re-leathering and then they also have the masters title of the spinner but uh, I've heard the masters isn't even come with a leather strap it's just a higher grade simulated leather so I don't think that's worth it at all even though it has more detail in the plates uh, I, st I don't think it's worth $1,500. I'm sorry. Alright, so uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go right ahead. And I'll be doing another video 
with the version 1 title adult replica and I'm also getting a kid size version of the version 1 title that'll be coming in a few days so we could com do the comparison between those belts as well and this is just a side note I do have a lot of videos posted up uh, of my father's special ed uh, have a lot of pranks of him and if you guys are interested in pranks please go right ahead view all my videos and comment thank you so much have a good day